this is the Galaxy S9 Plus, and the Galaxy S9 Plus has been one of the most awaited phones of 2018, not because it's uh, a Samsung phone, it's just because it's the first major launch of 2018 when it comes to the smartphone world, and there was a lot of eyes on it, and the phone was basically leaked completely a few months before it even came out, and everything, nothing was a surprise when the announcement came through, and Overall, I think that this phone is amazing. I've been using it for a month and there is, there's just so much to like about this phone. And I honestly think that this is one of the best Android phones you can buy out there right now. Uh, and everything just really makes me so happy about this phone. So let me get into why I love this phone. And before I do that, let me give you a recap on what this format is. So I make two separate videos, one talking about why I love the phone and what is good about it, and one talking about why I don't like it and the bad things about the phone. There's two separate videos. I've made another one talking about why I don't like the phone. I'll have the link somewhere up here uh, and on the description below so you guys can check that out. Uh, but don't think that I'm just fanboying on the phone and ignoring the bads or I'm just citing the bad things and not talking about the good things. So I do both. They're just in two separate videos. So be sure to check those out before you go commenting on how big of an idiot I am for not mentioning X, Y, and Z. So uh, moving on, let's go right into why I love this phone. And reason number one is that Samsung has started to listen to their consumers instead of doing whatever they want. And the first change goes to show, and that is the fingerprint scanner location. So they have now moved it from besides the camera to below the camera. And this is a much more comfortable position. They've changed the camera orientation to make this work as well. And it just makes things so much easier. And honestly, to uh, in my experience, getting to the S9 Plus's uh, fingerprint scanner is a lot easier than getting to the S8's fingerprint scanner. And the S8 is the smaller phone. so. Uh, if it's easier to get to the fingerprint scanner of a bigger phone than it is on a smaller phone, you know that something's not right there. So uh, props to Samsung for fixing that issue that a lot of people have been having. And it just goes to show, you know, they are open and listening to consumers. Number two, uh, right above our new fingerprint scanner, we have the new camera. So the new primary camera is uh, a dual aperture lens. So you have two apertures here that allows you to vary your uh, camera apertures based on your lighting setting. So with a lower lighting, you want a, a aperture that's lower so that you can get some more light into the sensor and get nicer shots. And contrarily, you want a bigger, uh, you want less light to come in in situations where there's already a lot of light outside. So the dual aperture lens really does improve the S9 Plus's photography indoors uh, and in low lighting. So low lighting photos are just so good on this phone. Uh, and I only think that the real rival there has to be the Pixel. And even the Pixel, you know, it does have some noise in a few image comparisons, but uh, the S9 Plus definitely does really well in low lighting. And in general, both cameras are awesome. Uh, the front camera, the wide angle really makes things pop a, a lot more. And there's also that uh, selfie portrait mode. So a lot of things going on there. Moving on, number three, the 960 frame per second 720p slow-mo recording. So now this may be a gimmick for a lot of people, but it's actually not. It works really well and it really gives you some cinematic shots. And if you know how to work with it and play with it, you can get some seriously interesting shots out of this camera uh, with that slow-mo mode. And I've seen a lot of cool examples of what people have done. And that really does add to the versatility of this camera and what you can do with it. Number four, the design and look. So uh, I think I've been pretty open about the fact that I love Samsung's design language. I love the front curve and the back curve. Uh, and I love just the way that the phones have been looking for the past couple of months. Uh, the S8 really did change me. Uh, I didn't like Samsung at all, but the S8, the way it looked, the display, everything, the way it felt, just really did change me into, uh, you know, appreciating these phones a lot more. So I think the design and looks right now compared to any other phone out there, I, I don't think there's any phone that looks better than the S9 and S9 Plus. Number five, the materials used. So the uh, phone now uses different materials, uh, especially the main one is on the chassis or the frame, whatever you want to call it. It now uses a aluminum 7000 series, the same thing that's on the uh, iPhone 6S 7, uh, which really does improve the one rigidity of the phone and also the durability. So it really does improve a lot uh, in terms of durability. So you can be a lot more easy about, you know, dropping the phone or uh, not having to worry about having the frame bend, especially since, you know, bending has been a thing for some people, but uh, this chassis is definitely going to help with that. Number six, this is always going to be one of my favorite things about any Samsung phone, and that has to be the display. So the display on these phones is just amazing. And the way they look, the way that they perform, everything about them is awesome. They are slightly oversaturated in color, but that's actually what I prefer. And it really does make uh, videos especially pop so well. 
Uh, if you watch something in 1440p or 2K, it just looks so, so, so good. I mean, the results are unreal. I'd rather watch content on this or... Uh, I'd rather watch content on this instead of my computer or my TV because of how good the screen is. And now with those dual speakers, and talking about dual speakers, let's get right into number seven. And that is the dual stereo speakers. Now, I've been wanting this feature for a while. I really wish that the S8 had it. I was upset when the Note 8 didn't bring it in, but I'm finally happy that the S9 and S9 Plus have dual speakers because this device was, in my opinion, made for media. You can consume a lot of media on it, and the fact that they didn't have stereo speakers kind of let me down, especially since the iPhone had it for a while there, even the Pixel moved to it. Uh, I was happy that this phone finally had dual stereo speakers. Now, this is a dual-edged sword. The stereo speakers could be a lot better, and there's a lot of room for improvement, but the fact that they're there uh, and they boost the uh, usability of the phone, especially for media, really does help the case there, and I really am a fan of of this number eight and that is the customizable always on display so a lot of phones nowadays have these always on displays however they're usually locked down to have only certain types of information they only have one style and you really can't do much in terms of uh, you know customizing the way they appear you can either go for a you know having it on or having it off and nothing in between uh, the s uh, the entire you know s8 note 8 and s9 plus they give you customizable features so you can customize what the clock looks like you can customize what the notifications look like you can have music controls on here and you can also have a custom message the battery there's just a lot of customizability with this uh always on display you can change colors so you can have actual colors instead of just the white screen here and it really does make things look so much nicer i think the always on display just adds more customizability number nine smart scan so uh, samsung has now implemented this uh smart scan feature where you can uh where it will use a combination of the iris and the camera to read your face and your eyes and unlock the phone so uh, it uses a combination of both i'm not 100 percent sure how it prioritizes or uh, which authentication factor it uses for uh, it's just a complex way it does things but uh, it's cool that it allows you to do both so if it's extremely dark you can still use the iris if it's uh, too bright or your eyes are covered with sunglasses or something you can use the facial scanner and uh, in my uh, trial it's worked almost every time it is a little bit slower than face id and uh, sometimes you do get a little bit more of adjusting it so it's just perfect to get things all right but it is a really good and it is a lot more secure than what the oneplus offers and a few other manufacturers offer now with the uh, facial scanning so the facial scanning definitely the smart scan is awesome and i really do like it because it gives you an, another layer of just being able to do things so you have the facial and you have the fingerprint and just having options to authenticate biometrically is something that i wish that more manufacturers would do apple uh, and it really does make things a lot easier, especially in different conditions, because you're not always unlocking your phone in the same same condition. You know, sometimes it's while you're driving, sometimes it's while you're uh, in, you know, on a desk, sometimes while you're in the bed. So, you know, it's nice to have multiple ways to authenticate your phone biometrically. Rounding things off with number 10, and that is the price. So the Galaxy S9 starts at $719 and the S9 Plus starts at $840. So these phones are significantly cheaper than even the Galaxy Note 8, which actually has a worse camera, worse battery, and uh, just all around uh, not as good as this phone. It even has the older generation Snapdragon and Exynos processor compared to this. So even if you are getting the S9 Plus, you're still saving close to $160 on this phone now the note 8 is definitely a lot better for people who want that s pen but there's not a lot of people who i think would prefer to pay 160 dollars more and get the note 8 instead of getting this phone which does almost everything better in comparison to the note 8 so i think that samsung nailed it with pricing and this phone uh you know while it hasn't been that popular i think that it's heavily underrated so that rounds up the things i love about the galaxy s9 plus and honestly i'm telling you guys this is one of my favorite phones of the year so far and i'm looking forward to using this for a while uh, there are no new major launches coming up in the next couple of months and weeks so uh, i will be using this and i'll keep updating you guys on what my experience is on social media so be sure to follow me there i have all the links down below and if you aren't already subscribed to the channel be sure to subscribe for more content on the s9 plus uh, and let me know what you guys thought about this uh, S9 Plus. Do you love it? Do you hate it? What are the things you like about it? Or is there something I didn't mention in this video that you really love about this phone too? Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.